All right, guys, today I'm over here at Stack Cake and Confectionery Company. This is a place I haven't been to. Uh, it's over here in Groves, Texas. They have a lot of cool desserts. My friend, Damien, he's actually coming here. He's the one who told me about it. I see them on social media too, but Damien and I are gonna check it out. I'm waiting for him to come out and then we're gonna go inside and eat some dessert. Let's go. Stacked is a local business to Groves. We do everything in-house from scratch. No box bag, nothing like that. It's all butterflower sugar. Um, we do anything and everything from cakes, cupcakes, cookies, to sugar-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, special events, wedding cakes. We even sometimes do charcuterie, um, breakfast stuff, a little bit of everything dessert-wise. So our items off the counter, we do pecan bars and lemon bars. Our pecan bars fly off the shelves. Our menu rotates month to month, so depending on what we've got that month, we have different top sellers. Now our brownies are always a huge hit. Our cupcake flavors, um, depending on what we've got, our s'mores has been very popular this year. Also our cinnamon rolls. We're also very well known for our cakes. Um, and then we also like, I do a lot of egg-free cakes, a lot of um, those allergens and things like that. We also do a lot of diabetic friendly, so sugar-free, gluten-free. I started baking as a kid, so eight years old on, but I did go to school for it at El Centro in Dallas. Um, and then I worked at the Gaylord Texan for three and a half years. So from 2017 to 2020, I was the person over the gingerbread house there, if you ever got to go out there and see it. I did anywhere from 13,000 desserts a day, uh, going out to various buffets. Um, and then we also did more fine dining and special events. So I got a full spectrum there. And then I also went on to Italy in Dallas um, and helped open that location. So I spent all their gelato for a good three months, made lots of tiramisu for three months, um, probably fried cannolis for a month um, and really put in the grunt work at those jobs um, and learned the trade and what goes into it and all that. Uh, and then was like, okay, time to open my own shop and kind of do what I want to do. And then where the name stack come from? So I am a power lifter. Uh, I have been since I was 14. Um, so I wanted to play on like lifting heavy weights, but also being like a baker and having that, that layered look. So I love the sound of like pounds or things like that, but that's also a used term. So I was like, I want something new. So y'all come out and check us out. We're open Monday through Friday, uh, 10 to six, and then Saturday, 10 to three. We're at 4318 Lincoln Avenue, um, and you can come see us whenever. And I always tell people if the light's on, come check us out. All right, guys, so this is the guy who told me about Stacked, Damien. And uh, why did you want me to come here? Why? Because look at it, that's why. Plus, she's a good friend. I call her the strongest baker in Southeast Texas and everything here is amazing. So if you see Damien on social media, he's lifting like 600, 700, 800 pounds. I don't even know. I could only <laughs> wish, one day we were lifting together, but he surpassed me. He's got world records and everything. And uh, they say that he comes here like twice a week. So Damien knows good food. He actually bakes a lot. Whenever he was with the running club, he would make the most awesome desserts. So are you still doing that? Yes, sir, when I can, but I just come support my friend and my teammate. So she is an amazing baker and friend as well, and, so, team, and teammate as well, too. So we're gonna go to the back and check out some macarons and uh, we're gonna fill them, so let's go. All right. All right, made it to the back and now this is the macaron table. We're gonna fill them up with, I don't know what, but buttercream probably, maybe something else, who knows. We've but got it, an Italian meringue buttercream. All right, so we've got a few basics when it comes to filling macarons. We've got our Italian meringue buttercream um, I always make sure to whip mine up just because this will get stiffer the longer it sits. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, it's a big butter base. Um, so, you know, the longer it sits out, the harder it gets. Um, so when filling macarons, there's only a few little basics. One of my big things is we want our shells to match. So these are our shells. And all we want to do is just make sure that the feet line up because I don't want, we don't want one that's way bigger and one that's way smaller because then it, just is not as aesthetically pleasing. Right. And uh, macarons are something that's a little bit more harder to, that are a little bit harder to make. Um, so we put a lot of pride and effort into filling them and making sure that they look good from start to end. Um, so if y'all just wanna grab two shells, um, the way that I always recommend is normally when, so we hand pipe everything. 
normally when we hand pipe them, the ones next to them are going to be, mm -hmm. for the most part, the pretty ones similar. that are pretty similar. Um, so if you just want to grab your two. Good. Yeah. Look at the, we got some nice feet on these today. Um, I was a little scared. It started to rain earlier. I was like, my feet, my feet. The humidity needs to get <laughs> up, right? It's all yes. very like So it's an egg perfect. base, yes. Um, so there's a few different ways you can fill a macaron. Uh, you can literally just hold it here and let it go. Uh, and we just smush them together. So the whole idea is just to make sure that when we're filling it, that it's not spilling out the edges. Mm -hmm. Um, to where, again, we want it to look good from start to finish. All right. Um, so y'all go for it. It's going to be a little hard at first. You're going to get the swing of it though. If we mess up, we get to eat them, right? Yes, you way. definitely do. <laughs> All right, here's my first one. Let's see. Here's my first one right there. Let's pretty good. My name is good as Jamie's, but that's my first one. It's fun. I never filled a macaron before, so. And y'all can fill as many as you'd like. And then we can always add, I'm gonna give y'all your own containers. We can always add sprinkles. Um, it makes it a little bit more fun and gives it a little bit of color. So the process of cooking a macaron is it's like a, you have to like cook it, whip it up, and then let it sit to build that feet. Because the feet is the yes. most important part. It gives it a nice chew, right? Yes. Um, so the whole process is, you're going to whip up your whites and then you're going to add your powdered sugar or your, a lot of people will use granulated sugar. Um, you're going to add that in. You're going to make almost like a meringue. And then what you're going to do is fold in that powdered sugar and your um, almond flour. Mm. So the way that I like to do it is I like to mix my almond flour and my powdered sugar together um, and sift them. And then in threes, you fold in a third of your dry mixture to your wet mixture and then fold in another third, and then fold in another third. All while trying to maintain those peaks. So. Well, I'll tell you now, going from the center out, mm -hmm. just like you did the first time, mm -hmm. didn't work for me. <laughs> it's It takes uh, some time to kind of master and see and mm. kind of go from there. I got it all over me. Yeah. <laughs> Do you I want just, a towel here? <laughs> I messed up my back. It's fine, it's Thank fine. You. I heard those. I know I got it kind of wonky. No, I think they're good. I like these. They're perfect. That was the first. That this was one. my first one. Right here. Perfect. They're like little burgers. They, just they remind, are. Remind me of burgers. Pretty patties from SpongeBob. <laughs> pretty yeah, patties. Yeah. All right, working hard. Oh, wait. This is the one I just eating know. the macaroons now. So we've been making them. Let's eat one. My soft feet. That's what you want. In there. <laughs> and of course, you start like refrigerating it yet, so it's tasty. Oh, really good. They're they're fresh, good. fresh. I just pulled they're those fresh. from the oven. <sighs> All right, I might eat one more bite. That's really good. Uh oh. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we did the back of the house, made the macarons, tasted the macarons. Now let's uh, get over to the front of the house and check out all that they have over there. They have a ton of cupcakes, cookies, and uh, other things. So let's go. So the s'mores uh, brownies are amazing. The s'mores cupcakes pair perfect with it. They're, they're amazing. Is that the... Uh, that's the wedding cake, right? Wedding cake up top. Yes, yeah, the, the wedding cake is always, you gotta have one of those no matter what. The chocolate chip cookies, yeah, those. So basically what Damien's saying is everything is good. Yeah. yeah, he pointed at literally everything and said it was great, so. Yeah, you so, can't go wrong. So we'll get a few, we'll get a few. Mm -hmm. all right, look at this, and all the prices here are really reasonable. Like this cookie cake, it's like, I mean, I'm sure that'll probably fill you up only four bucks everything's about four yeah the, the high end is four at four dollars right mm -hmm. well yeah well yeah six, six. On the cinnamon rolls. but look what you get but those feed about two people what two people what two no what? he's like one person that's right? one person one damien yeah so yeah four to six dollars and yeah good good deal so we'll uh, get a few and uh, we'll try it
All right, guys, this is the first thing we're gonna have. This is the cinnamon roll cookie. Just warmed it up. Let's give this a taste. This thing is huge. It's as big as my hand. So we'll have like a little portion of it. It's got a soft cookie in there, the croissant. And again, this one looks more, it makes more sense to me than the... The croissant cookie? Yeah, the croissant cookie. All right, let's give this a taste, Damien. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Throwing things. Mm. Super chocolatey. Yeah. So what do you think about the what do you think about the the cinnamon roll cookie? That's amazing. I like I like that one a lot. And I will be taking one home with okay. me. It's very very chocolatey. Chocolatey. It's got, you know, good flavor. And uh this is something you would need like a coffee. We have a large water, but coffee with and this cinnamon roll, you'll be you'll be good to go. Yeah, every, everything is complimenting each other. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like, and again, I feel like this is better than the croissant cookie, the, the cinnamon roll cookie. That's that's where the, that's where you, you go. All right, let's try the cupcake. This is the Fruity Pebbles cupcake. So you see, there, you can see the Fruity Pebbles on there. And then we're gonna have to cut this out. No, no, that's you. No, this is all, all, this is all me. Yeah, Damien, he's, he comes in twice a week, so this is all me, I get to eat it. Some people do the uh, the cupcake cook, the cupcake sandwich. You ever do the cupcake sandwich? Mm -hmm. That's the way to go sometimes. I'm gonna, I don't wanna mess it up, so. What? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you right now. He's never done that? He's never done the cupcake oh, sandwich. So you can even good. just tear it, tear it up, get like two pieces, and then you make a cupcake sandwich. It's the best way That's to get how you eat it. distribution of icing the cake. Right there, guys. That is amazing. All right, here we go. You can taste the fruitiness of, of it. Like it does taste like like the uh, the fruity pebbles. How, how do you get that flavor? Orange. Is it orange? Is it orange? Oh, orange? Sure. Huh. And food color. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now that you now that she told me it's orange <laughs> extract and food coloring, but. Once she, she tells me that, I can taste the orange, but before that, mm -hmm. all I taste was Fruity Pebbles, so. I also like the little Fruity Pebble Bites. It gives it another, like, crunchy texture to everything. All right, let's do the s'mores bars next. I love marshmallows in my desserts, so. This is what we're gonna do. This is right here, right? Yes, sir. So this is the s'mores brownie. It's got the graham cracker, like, on, on top of it, the crust, and then it's got the chocolate, the brownies, and of course, the marshmallow. So let's see if you can look at that. There you go. Let's give this a taste. I'm gonna go from the crust side. When your dessert is falling apart as you eat it, that's, that this means it's, it's the best, right? Nice, soft brownie, just like how you, you want it. You don't want it to be over dry. And this one's still very fudgy in the middle. I don't think I got any of the uh, marshmallows, so I'm gonna go on this side and see the, the whiteness. Mmm. There it is. That marshmallow, that's good stuff. I love marshmallow in anything, like Rocky Road, brownies. It's my favorite. This is the Italian <laughs> wedding cookie, kind of like a pecan sandy. And so this this is definitely gonna crumble if it's like a pecan sandy. So let's uh, hmm, tastes just like a pecan sandy. Like it's got that like almost sandiness on it. Clearly pecan sandy, and then the powdered sugar on top. Another good. This is not as sweet as the rest of them. Like this is a good. This would be like like yeah a subtle sweetness on this one. And if you guys know. Like Asian taste buds, they love something. When they call it, when they say something is not too sweet, that means they really, really like it. So that's a good one too. I'm gonna have a, like a bites of everything because I can't eat all of this, clearly, but we have uh, two more to go. This one is the pecan bar. You gotta cover your face again, Damien. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Looks like a nice caramel layer on top. You get the pecans and then the shortbread on the bottom. Yeah, this one is super tasty. Like the, the, the pecans, the way that she cooked it with the caramel, it added a different like flavor to it, flavor profile. Very reminiscent of a pecan pie. And then the, the thick, chewy caramel there. 
This is a winner. It's like pecan pie in a bar. Like this is the pecan bar. And this is one, this is one of her best selling ones. All right, so this is the lemon bar right here. You got the lemon. It's like uh, made with, it's like a lemon custard, right? Isn't it a yes, custard? Yes, sir, basically. So it's the short dough crust you get from, it's actually the same crust as the pecan bar. Mm -hmm. And then it's basically a lemon custard poured over top and then stuck in the oven till it's baked. Um, and then we dust it with a nice coat of powdered sugar. All right, you guys heard that. Let's uh, get our faces out of the way so we can see. There you go. Nice little powdered sugar. I'm gonna take a little bite. Again, really good, the, the, the lemon on there, chewy, and then the shortbread, and then of course the, the, the powdered sugar on top is the winner. I, 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 you know, I used to buy these in the Philippines all the time. I don't know why lemon bars are so popular in the Philippines, but this brings me back. And when food brings you back to a memory, that means it's good. So I enjoyed all these desserts over here are stacked, and I'm gonna finish some of this, but I'll talk to you guys on the outside and tell you which one of these were my favorite. All right guys, so that's gonna be it from Stacked. I enjoyed it. The prices here, really, really well priced. Like if you want some great desserts, check them out. That uh, favorite ones that I got today was going to be the cookie and cinnamon roll combination. The pecan bar was also good, lemon bar was great. And yeah, those are my favorites. Go find out your favorites by checking out Stacked. And if you guys wanna follow me the food, follow me at Beaumont Foodie on all the socials. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.